Let's now shift our focus to Belarus with a growing call for Belarus's President Alexander Lukashenko to step down. Tens of thousands of opposition supporters marched through Minsk on Sunday. The demonstrations embroiled Belarus despite a crackdown where calls were made for an end to Lukashenko's rule. And these calls have been growing ever since. The tainted leader of Belarus turned 66 years on Sunday and amid a heavy security presence, protesters streamed onto central Minsk streets carrying balloons, flowers and flags. Some even mocked Lukashenko and chanted slogans like, Happy Birthday, you rat. The crowds congregated near the presidential palace of Alexander Lukashenko and converged on Lukashenko's residence, which was guarded by security forces carrying shields and water cannons and even prisoner vans. Riot police were out in full force across the city with water cannons and crowd control vehicles. The armoured military vehicles were also seen across the city. Columns of protesters walked through the centre in Sunday's rally carrying quirky handmade gifts, including a cardboard toilet with a sign urging the strongman ruler to flush himself away. A coffin marked political corps and a picture of a cockroach, the opposition's nickname for the president, were also seen. The police reported the arrest of 125 protesters, but Vyazna Human Rights Organization has now said that more than 200 demonstrators have already been detained. The assistant to the president of Belarus on general issues, Nikolay Lashkenov, came out to the protesters at Lukashenko's residence. Why protests began in Belarus after the August 9 presidential elections, which gave Lukashenko a landslide 80% victory over his main challenger, that is Svetlana Tikhonovskaya. And now Lukashenko is struggling to contain weeks of protests and strikes. With no intention of stepping down, Lukashenko has completely denied any electoral fraud. And hence, he has refused to rerun the election, which both the European Union as well as the United States have said was not free, neither fair. Belarus is now cracking down hard on the news media as well as it has deported some foreign journalists reporting on the subject in the country and has even revoked the accreditation of many Belarusian journalists. Following this, Germany will now summon the Belarus ambassador after Minsk revoked these accreditations of the foreign media reporters covering the country's anti-government protests at large. Russia, on the other hand, has appeared hesitant to get deeply involved in the Belarus crisis. But Russian President Vladimir Putin has invited Lukashenko to visit Moscow over a birthday phone call. Lukashenko has said that he has reached an agreement with Putin that Russia will send in security help if asked.